Hello guys, it's Shrimp Time here, here and today we will talk about uh, tests and water parameters for Caridina shrimps. As you can see, my little laboratory is ready for the testing. I will describe everything for those people that are not so fam familiar with this topic. But a small uh, introduction for the topic. You have to remember that to keep Caridina shrimps, you need to assure that they will have uh, stable parameters of the water. Yeah. So uh, many people only check the uh, water parameters by conductivity uh, with this the special device for this. But uh, I go a little bit further. I try to test my water also with uh, GH tests. As you know, the water for Caridina should be, for most of them, should be something like a uh, 50, uh, 5, 6 uh, GH. So this is the preparation. This is the water that I prepare using the Salty B uh, Shrimp Premium GH plus, GH plus, sorry. Uh, here we get our conductivity meter the device that I use to check the water for its conductivity. And this is the main way to for most of people to check if uh, the water is good. Here we got some little five milliliter syringe. And, and, and now we will go to the main actors of this uh, movie. Two tests. I use two tests. I use... Uh, JBL and Zolek. Yeah, the first one is Zolek, the one you have seen, and this is JBL GH test. So, mo both of these uh, tests are quite young. They are recently bought, and we get we get two little buckets for water. This is from Zolek, and this is from JBL. So. Those tests should uh, show us the results of a five six GH. Yes, because I prepared the water exactly uh, with the direction that instruction of uh, Salty B shows, and it says that it should be one one point thirty grams uh, for ten liters of water to achieve a uh, to achieve. Uh, bo -bo 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 to achieve 5.6 GH and something like uh, 200 microsiemens. So my water was prepared according to that and we got the result 240-250 uh, uh, microsiemens. Uh, and the, reason, the first re reason is uh, because my RO water uh, is about 20 microsiemens. The second reason is that even my conductivity matter can show a little of results, even though it wasn't calibrated for three years. Uh, and, uh, and I have been using it for three years without calibration and without any problems. Yeah, because even if we, if it goes off like 20 G, uh, 20 micro Siemens or something like that, it's not that much. And as you can see, I'm putting to both of these little buckets uh, 10 milliliters of water. So the test will be more precise. Yeah, because I want to have not uh, every drop of the test will show a 0 0.0 uh, GH change. Uh, but, but if you make the test with 5 milliliters of water, you will get uh, 1 GH for every drop. So now let's prepare the test and we'll see what the results are. We'll start with, uh, with a JBL test. And why it's so important to check the water and have precise uh, results. If you are keeping shrimps, uh, the water stability is very important. Yeah, this is the first thing you want to make water changes, make water for your aquariums with same parameters. If you are making water for 
5 uh, GH, you want to have this 5 GH every water change, so uh, the shrimps won't get stressed during uh, its, its their life in the tank. Uh, if you are changing the water pa parameters in your tank, the shrimps can suffer. Another quite important uh, reason for me to have stable parameters is that I sell my shrimps to uh, to my viewers, to, to different people, and I want to say them how to prepare the tank, yeah? So I need to uh, post the shrimps in water that will be quite similar to the water that they will use. So the risk that shrimps will die, will have problems uh, during acclimatization process will be low. I hope that we are counting uh, the drops that I make so that you can check if my results are correct because in Polish version I have a little, little small mistake. So as you can see, the way you make the test, you, you are putting drop and mixing the drop into the water and it's changing color from the reddish color to greenish color. When you will achieve the change from reddish to greenish, uh, you will have the count uh, that will let you estimate uh, your uh, GH. And JBL shows 4.5 GH because I use uh, I used uh, pop, pop, I used uh, nine drops. Now we are going to uh, Zolek and we'll check uh, the results. <coughs> dropping, dropping dropping and mixing. Uh, the little advice, if you will estimate the water that you are make, making for water change, you can use this process not so often, once per month, once per, per three months, because using the conductivity meter and using uh, the wave of the salt or the amount of the salt that, that uh, the producer of the salt will show you will let you uh, make the water for water changes in faster way. But you have to check because your conductivity meter can have problems. Uh, you can make the mistakes. If you are changing uh, the salt, also you have to change this, pro this process. As you can see, I'm dropping uh, the JBL and the color still remains reddish. JBL, sorry, Zolek. Uh, one another, um, one another, uh, let's say, one other other thing that I believe it's true is that the producer of the salt have better devices to check the water parameters for its salts uh, than we have. So I believe that uh, the amounts that he's saying uh, that you need to use and the parameters that you will get are more correct than the results that I will achieve. But getting back to the Zolek, as you can see, it's changed its color. Uh, after 14 drops. So Zolek shows us 7 GH. We have two different tests and the result is 2.5 uh, GH. Two, yes, 2.5 uh, GH different. For me, it's very high. It's very high. It shouldn't happen. I will believe more in JBL just because it's near to the results that I should achieve according to the producent information. But if you believe in uh, in the test and you are uh, checking only GH when you are making uh, water for your shrimps, make sure you check the tests and check every bottle of these tests, not only the produce, because you can achieve the uh, results as I did, so different and it can make you have problems with keeping shrimps. Thank you for your time. See you till the next movie.